Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and this is the new Surface Go. So as you can see, it's uh, not as big as the Surface Book 2. <laughs> and here you can see the comparison of those two devices. So I did a couple different tests here with uh, the Surface app, uh, adjusting the pressure sensitivity down to three, which is my uh, typical setting for when I'm using the Surface Book 2 for drawing. So the pressure sensitivity seems to be better than it was with the Surface Pro 4 pen that I tested out last Saturday. And uh, as you can see here, it's still got some of that same jitter. Uh, it's not different than what I was seeing on the new Surface Pro 2017 model and the Surface Book 2. Uh, tilt function working just fine. And you can see the uh, pressure adjusting the uh, darkness of the line there actually really nicely. So it feels nice, it's responsive, it's quick, uh, actually a lot faster than I was anticipating it being. And here uh, in Sketchable, we're doing a couple quick tests here, again for jitter, as each program has, um, most of the new programs anyway, have built-in stabilization to help smooth out some of the jitter issues. Uh, and you can see by default, it is not turned on in a lot of these apps. Uh, sketchbook, which I use a little bit later, uh, when the stabilization is on in the registered version, it's actually very nice, but not when it's off. <laughs> All right, so uh, adjusting the different settings on the pressure curve so that you can see some of the difference, the initial activation force, the IAF, which is how hard you have to push down with the pen for it to draw that first really light line it does seem to be less um, or I'm sorry more it seems like you have to push down a little bit further so I tested it in a couple different applications uh, here in um, sketchable you can see it's just having a little bit of trouble getting that really faint line again that is app specific now I have my iPad Pro 10.5 inch and I'm comparing it here to the uh, Surface Go and you can see the one uh, is and it's definitely a premium device the iPad Pro and the Surface Go is not and it looks like it it looks like it was made for uh, a lot less <laughs> which it was and because of that you know some of those options that they have for the really thin devices that you get bumped into a slightly larger uh, version that's a lot less expensive. And I, I think it's really a fair compromise. Uh, we're in Sketchbook here, and Sketchbook's doing better with that really light pressure uh, initial activation force line. Again, it's very, very responsive. I was really happy with uh, how immediate the stroke was. There was very little lag, um, none that I could even notice. So it feels, and uh, this is the Windows S mode, not the full version of Windows, so I won't be able to test that until uh, I get uh, my device on Thursday and it'll probably be a little longer than that before I get the review out. But in S mode, that's really responsive. That's really very fast, and you can see it's doing some uh, definitely more uh, advanced, or um, not advanced, but, but processes that to typically show a little bit of slowdown. And S Sketchbook is a pretty fast, pretty light, uh, well-designed program. So there's not a, a lot of, of lag in it, but it, and it runs absolutely beautifully. And here we're doing advanced color blending and it's, it's really doing a good job, not just holding up, but not slowing down at all. So uh, one thing that I would say uh, that you want to be aware of, if you're getting the device and you're expecting it to look like the same quality of device as the iPad Pro, it's, it's not. But it took me, <laughs> I mean, just a minute or two to get past that initial surprise of how, how big the bezels are. 
uh, on the outside of the screen, or that black border that's around the outside of the screen that, that is not screen. Um, after playing with it for a minute, you adjust and, and really, really is nice. It really is a nice device. Uh, so at the moment, not entirely convinced that it is on par with the drawing experience of the Surface Book, uh, Surface Book 2 and new Surface Pro, but it's, it's really nice. So uh, landscape mode, I'm sorry, portrait mode, the three, uh, I think is still the same three to aspect ratio. Uh, it feels good, it feels like you're holding a book in your hand, a mid-sized book. It doesn't feel bulky. It doesn't feel overly um, large, like carrying around the 15-inch Surface Book 2 screen or the uh, clipboard, as they call it. It doesn't feel like that. It feels very nice. And um, if it performs this good in Windows mode with a few more programs, I would call this a huge win for Microsoft. Uh, definitely a a very valid competitor uh, to the new iPad 6th generation with the pen support. Um, pen sticks very nicely to the side, the magnet's strong, uh, doesn't feel like it's going to fall off. The keyboard was actually a lot, lot firmer than I was expecting. I, I kept looking down to see if the, the keyboard was resting on the ground, but it's not. It's got that magnet edge lifting it up off the ground, so it's got a really nice comfortable angle to type at and uh and i i spammed it and, <laughs> and pushed on it pretty hard and i uh, was very happy with how it felt the trackpad's very smooth and nice so here you can see the battery at five hours and it's at 89 percent. so you would assume that, that would be somewhere around 545 um, which if it really is getting uh, actual almost six hours. I know it said it's rated at nine, but with the brightness turned up and running at full performance, if you're getting five to six hours on this device I, for the price, I, it's very, very worth it. And of course, it has the USB-C port, which is awesome for charging. You can use a portable charger to um, have an extra battery with you to extend that life too. All right, guys, until next time, stay creative and uh, subscribe to see the next video coming this week.